So you're telling me we need what's in the way back of the shed there? Not just there, but there. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's okay. well, let's get to her. Okay, Cole. Yeah, get to her now. Come on, go hop. Got the drip iced out. My friends call me Big C. Remember the name, homie. Do you think we should get that combine out while we got some of this stuff out, or you want to get on that thing? Okay, Alice. It's Big C. Alice. Big C. You know that. that Alice and Chains. Alice and Chains. Yeah. Yeah. So you're Alice. Too. I'm Big. I'm Big C. So this is what we need, way at the back. Did I ever tell you what my favorite Alice in Chains songs is? Mm -mm. Song? Here comes a rooster. How's it go? Here comes a rooster. <laughs> Sounds pretty catchy. So I hear there's a story about that song, Here Comes the Rooster, is it actually. A, is it about a rooster? Well, see, in Vietnam... Pecker? What? Nothing. In Vietnam, uh, they had an eagle emblem on their equipment and maybe even on their uniforms or something. And the Vietnamese thought it was a, a rooster. Hmm. So they said, Here Comes the Rooster. Oh. And it was the eagle. Hmm. Yeah, so that's all I got to say about that. All right. So this is our feed wagon tractor. 365 days of the year, it's feeding cattle. And one day of the year, we had mowing ditches to it. So why do we use this tractor to mow ditches, Paul? Uh, because the one tire sucked in a little bit, and so it's ready for driving in the ditch. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, not just the tire, but the whole wheel is slid in as far as it'll go. Because if we don't do that, you can see how much space there is between here. If we don't do that, that wheel will drive on the grass that we're trying to mow. Uh -huh. And then it flattens it and then it don't cut it good. So I see. I decided that having that on the feed wagon is the best tractor to not have to move it back out the rest of the year. So we just keep it in all the time. The front two tires on the four wheel drive are getting low and that's just not very good for the rubber. So all we're working in here, we'll be pumping that up. I think so. This thing is not very fun to hook up. Oh. That's gonna need lube. Actually went pretty good. Squeenies! Oh, there he is. Look at him. Oh, there's one, Dad. So that's part of being a landowner. You are legally required to mow your road ditches, just the edges at least by a specific date. I don't know what the date is. He's gonna handle that. And also dad likes to get in all of our approaches where we pull into our fields. So when we're driving into semis, you know, pulling grain out of the field, you can see where the approach is better and know how wide we need to get so we don't put her in the ditch. Luckily it's not as dry as it's been currently in the 60s so that's really nice it's kind of cool out a little bit of dew you know that thing can hit some rocks and start some ditches on fire that's going to take them about all day and of course we're going to do some welding we're going to finish the welding project but one last thing i want to do before i get this beast out there and we start welding those gates up the heifers are up to the bunk eating real nice and they got quite a few flies on them so we're going to load the mister up a little bit spray them down give them a little bit of relief Still. 
Those flies are ballsy. It's a beautiful thing. You see that rainbow? Killing flies. Doesn't get much better. Now, if only these girls would just stand there and take it. Alright, so after this, we can get to what I really want to do today. That's some good old welding. Just gotta hop in the skid loader, bring the welder out. Also, got a lot of tools in there, and I gotta pump a tire. <laughs> would you believe that? I gotta pump a tire on the gator. One tire, two tire. my head on one of those pretty good just the way it is get this thing warming up while we're grinding So what I've been doing, using a 6011 rod, laying a hot pass in there, getting as deep as I can. I'm not the best welder, so I'd lay another one in there to get, just make sure I got the job done. And then I clean it all up, and I also got 7018 rods, so then I put two caps on everything. And it really come out looking nice, that last gate I did a couple days ago. Yeah, it's not a professional weld, but it, to me, looks pretty strong. And then, of course, I take a piece of flat iron and put that on there as well so you know all that together assuming it should hold not saying if a 2,000 pound bull hops on the far end that it's gonna stay up I can at least hop on there So that's kind of what a 6011 pass looks like, at least for me. And then when we get the 7018, I'm going to kind of hit here, hit here, and go back and forth and just make a nice wide weld, covering that up, pulling as much of this steel together as I can. My welds are looking okay today, except when you come over to here, you can see we got this big hole right there, and right there. So, you know, I get some good runs that look kind of nice. And then some just real crappy stuff. I could never be a pipeline welder. There's going to be a lot of iron over here. Big honking gates. I don't know why that needed to be taller than me, but it is. So we laid two passes of 6011, two of 7018, and then lastly, we're gonna lay some of this on. Gives me a really long weld that I can lay.
So it's lunchtime. Let's just back that up, see how it looks, see how it maneuvers, and then we'll get some lunch. And then we got the last gate to do, which, guess what? We got chain, and it's welded to that last gate. So after we get that, we'll cut the chain and then weld that chain on the rest of the other gates. Oh, that's beautiful. Other than this dang kosher. Sound good. Yeah, Since this is such a long gate, it don't need to just be dangling, you know, 24/7. So I am gonna weld something, you know, a little bit higher and slide it up on there so it can sit on something. It naturally wants to be about here, so I'm gonna weld this up here and set it on there so it's got kind of a stand. Yeah. Alrighty, so we got a little piece of metal. I'm gonna stick that up in there real nice so that can sit on there. Brought a bottle jack, so we'll jack this up, weld this on. One thing I do wish I did, you know, we just got this welder. I wish my ground was like at least 10 feet longer. I got a 20 foot ground, I think. Should have got like a 30 or 35. You know, it doesn't cost too much more to add 10 feet. Wish I would have done it. little seat for it all right nothing left but to put that last gate in let's get her done actually there's there's stuff left after that so you know and we we don't just win farming at the end of that gate unfortunately on the windy side today. We got the passes with 6011 done and we got some holes to dig. And there she is. Four gates built, four gates hung. Now all we got left is to weld the chains on there. Just gonna weld it right here and then cut it. Gotta get my bolt cutter, of course I forgot that. And then we got 16 foot of chain but it's all welded to that one. So I gotta figure out how long I wanna do. for the life of me find the bolt cutter they're supposed to be right there but they're not did you did you move them you know where the bolt cutters are I found the old ones hopefully they work something like it We got them all chained up. I also added this right here. You know, say you're trying to chase them in and all of a sudden they turn around, they're coming right back in. You're like, ah crap, and you don't have enough time to take one and wrap it all the way around. Just throw that on there, bust it out of the way. I also feel like that chain will hold this one real tight, keep it up on its step right there. Everybody's got a chain, we got a big chain over there. And of course, this one to wrap around. But we're not done yet. I wish I was though, that sun's feeling warmish. So we gotta 
dig a hole and set a railroad tie right here and then cut this fence. So we got the impact sawzall. And then also, one issue we could have, we're chasing some critters in and all of a sudden, one decides to run out this gate and spin it all the way back and then bend something. And the same thing with that other gate, it can only open this way so far. So about at a 45, I'm gonna set a railroad tie here because these gates don't need to open further than that. And we don't want a critter to take that gate all the way around and break something. Those things need some lube and a lot of it. You guys still here? We got one thing left. And then the project is done. Right. Working by yourself 101. Just gotta become MacGyver. So excited to be done, I didn't check the depth of the hole. And she was a deep one. You know, both these gates hanging this way, that's gotta be a lot of weight for that one pole. Pretty dang solid. In total, that probably took about 15 hours tearing out to completion Started out as this old raggedy thing gate sagging Random gates old gates rusty pitted out gates Tore it down became a sketch didn't follow the sketch very much <laughs> and now We got this fancy thing and for some reason it's as tall as me. I uh, I'd be surprised if something tried jumping it but you know, the more I do, the more I learn. Uh, I started out, the first time I built a gate, I used way too big of metal around the frame and it was just super heavy. You go from making it too beefy to too weak and then you kind of find your middle spot. And for some reason this time I made it way too tall. But you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. It was, I'm definitely excited to use this versus carrying the other things through the mud and the snow. And I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you can learn from my mistakes. If you're making a gate, you don't need a five foot tall gate and then hanging a foot off the ground. That makes a six foot tall. That's freaking tall, all right? Make a four and a half maybe, I don't know. But it looks sweet, needs a lot of lube. And we're done. And I'm gonna go get some buck shots. So thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Ellie, can you come help me put some tools away? Here, start with this. Take it. Oh. All right, take it over there. Oh. Okay. Uh, see you.